Good morning, Internet. This is Alex the Sudokus, and it is Friday the 20th of November 2020. Um, for my YouTube viewers, this may be a bit of a shock in that um, you're hearing my unmodified voice because I kind of decided that I'm going to stop hiding my voice anymore and um, as part of Trans Awareness Week I am kind of like coming out to my Sudoku community so um, I did that yesterday and today I'm taking it one step further basically by sharing my voice so anyway let's um, get into some New York Times hard Sudokus um, Let's see how we fare. We have a pair of ones here, with this one on the column and this one on the row. Got a pointer pair of ones here, thanks to these two ones. And that creates a pointer pair of ones up here. And whilst I'm looking at the ones, I notice there's actually a pair of sevens locked in here, thanks to these two sevens. So going back to the ones, I think that's all the, all the ones that I can do. So, let's move on to twos. I've got a two locked up here because of these twos on the columns and that two here. And now I've got the twos sandwiched with the sevens making a matching pair. So, before I move on, I'm just going to blow my nose quickly. So... <sighs> oh, I just realised I didn't mute the microphone properly because um, my voice changer and my mic comes through different channels so let me just change the settings because I fully anticipate that I will be doing more nose blowings in the near future so let's see mute um, microphone unmute my microphone and yep hopefully that works so let's give that a try hmm doesn't seem to have worked so I will have to investigate later until then let's continue on with the Sudoku by looking at the twos and I don't think there's anything else I can do with the twos so let's pencil mark in oops Pencil marking these threes, thanks to the threes on the columns, I have another pair of threes here. Oh, I think I just caught the mic button as I sneezed there, so... Phew! Um, okay, so... Oh, it didn't save the settings, that's why... That's why I didn't mute the microphone by the look of it. So let me try again. Paste. And this time make it the FIFA microphone. Save. Okay, so let's try this now. Yep. The mute button seemed to be working on my Stream Deck now. So let's continue. And by Stream Deck, I merely mean a Stream Deck. Um, app that I've got on the on the iPad. Oh, morning, Jeez. Not doing time at the beginning of the stream anymore. Um, I just didn't get up in time, so that's why. Because normally I get up at um, half past. Am I earlier than usual? No, this is the normal time, I think. Um, but uh, normally I'll start. I'll start. I'll get up before quarter two, so that's why I just kind of. Um, jump straight in because um, I didn't turn on my computer until nearly quarter past quarter two even so sorry about that I think it didn't help that I stayed up till half past midnight or no it wasn't even half past midnight it was half past one last night that I stayed up till that's why I'm a bit tired this morning so I'm just going to mute again to blow my nose <sighs> how are you guys did you guys play more um, amount us. What was the apology for? There's nothing to apologise about. 
Lisa thought I have no idea what, um, I literally don't know what um, there is to apologise about, so, um, five, oh, I've only got a single five, so, have I got a naked single? The most likely it's going to be on this column, because it has the most numbers, so let's see, I've got one, three, four, f oh no, I've got two as well, so one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine, so, this has to be a seven, and with that seven, uh, I can pencil mark a couple of sevens here, by the way, but I can't do much more with this seven, so so the five has been helpful. What about on this column? I don't think I'm going to get much out of this column. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then I haven't got six, seven, eight, or nine. So for keeping you up late. No, it was me who stayed, who chose to stay up late. I was the one who decided to do one more round of Hades because of um, how addictive it is so it's got nothing to do with you guys I am completely responsible for that but I'm okay I am still reasonably awake but also it gives me an excuse if I fail to do today's Sudoku then I can blame it on being tired without blaming, blaming it on you guys so let's see how I get on 8 uh, can't do eight, so two, seven, and eight are locked in these four cells, and I don't seem to have any pointed pairs. Hi, curly fries, how are you? Um, I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell curly fries, but who am I to judge the spelling? Um, I'm only remind reminded. Oh, you brought off that. Thank you, Juice. <laughs> um, yeah. I had fries last night, but I had um, I had skinny fries, so it's still fresh in my head, the spelling of fr fries, so apologies for that. <laughs> Thank you for joining, joining my stream. Because internet typing is accurate. Yes, internet typing. Hey, to be fair, um, the spellings of words um, changes over time anyway, so who's to say that in 10 years' time, 20 or even 100 years' time, Fry should be spelled the same way. Not I, not I. And oops, I meant to do nines. Oh yeah, so I skipped over, I had a look at the sevens and I think I've already done what I can with the sevens, so I'm moving on to eights. So I think I did look at the eights. Yeah, because that's why I was looking at the two, seven, eight in these four cells and decided I couldn't place it. So I moved on to nines already. So this nine and that nine combined with the two seven matching pair locks a pair of nines there. Putting a Y wherever you can, yes. Maybe I should be juice stein. Yes. <coughs> so one bit of, oh, I've got nine over here because of this nine and the two nines on the column. That gives me another pair of nines. And I think that's all I can do. Um, it's also because I go by Mike. Ah, with a Y. Mike with a Y. I like that. That is quite, that is quite fun. I have also been, um, so, um, by the way, I'm a, I'm a trans woman. And, um, I kind of, at the beginning of my transitions, um, I was thinking about names. But luckily, I had already thought about what to call myself for many years. Um, because I never liked my my dead name, my original first name, and um, just pencil mark marking in some more ones because I saw them. And then I'm going to look at the weak areas. Um, but yeah, I've always liked the name Alex um, since I was young. Basically, one of my best friends in school was called was named um, Alexander, and um, not as related to my liking the name. Um, but yeah, I decided to. Eventually, call myself Alex, and um, and my hairdresser suggested that um, I spell it differently with a Y as well, and I was like, mm, not sure about that. I just feel it would complicate things if I, like, not that I ever go to Starbucks, but if I go to Starbucks and say it's Alex with a Y, it just feels a bit funny. But I just got reminded recently that, um, in fact, it was literally yesterday that I randomly remembered um, Alex Van. Alex Van from Half-Life, Half-Life 2, exactly, <laughs> exactly, it's like Stephen with a, what was it, Stephen with a PH turns into Thiefen, in fact that joke doesn't work without 
uh, phi. Yeah, so that would be silly. <coughs> um, but that wasn't the main reason. It's just, um, but I still remembered. Um, <laughs> still makes me laugh because, um, yeah, I know someone called Stephen and he told that joke quite a few times. Um, but yeah, Alex Fan is super cool. I think it's Alex Fan. Uh, let's see. Half Life Alex. Uh, Alex, does it say her surname? Half Life Alex. Alex. Oh, sorry, Alex Fans. Um, I can never remember her surname, so. But yeah, she's a super cool character, so I could have. And she's also ethnic, and um, I could have named myself after her actually, but it's too late now. I'm committed to Alex with an E, so. So I shall forever be known as Alex with an E. Um, okay, so we have a quadruple, sorry, uh, we have a triple on this column, so let's investigate what it is. We've got threes, fives, and nines. I've got three and nine on this row, so this must be a five. So that rem that means fives are no longer as weak at least as it was before. <laughs> yes, imagine if that's my spelling, Alex. Uh, so what else am I missing? I'm missing threes and nines, and I can't deduce where they are. So I think it may be time to move on. So let's just do that then. Um, have we got any other, other weak areas on the puzzle? I don't think, I've got a quadruple on the first row and another quadruple on this column. So yeah, let's investigate. What have we got here? We've got one, four, six and eight. One, four, six and eight. Um, six there. So I think it's safe to say I can't place anything because I'm missing eight in most of the cells. So what about this quadruple? Um, I'm missing five, three, four, three, four, five, three, four, five, and six. I've got five, six, but no four there. Um, fours are in here, so I can't. I can't deduce either of these numbers, so that's fine. Let's continue on with the pencil markings then. So, can we do more with the ones? No, we can't. We're left with one more set of ones in there, but with Snyder notations, we only pencil mark in two candidates at, um, per cage, unless they form a triple or quadruple that I deem useful for us. So, twos don't seem to form anything either. So let's move on to threes. Um, I'm skeptical that I'm going to get any more from this, so it may be a slightly more advanced puzzle today. So let's see if we can tackle it. Fours, can't see any more fours, but I have noticed ones and fours are in these cells as well. But I can't lock a third number in, so that's not a triple. Four, five. So now that I've got two fives, can I, well I can lock, oops, I can lock a pair of fives in there now thanks to this five. Oh no, hold on, sorry, lock a pair of fives like this. So that means I've got another pair of fives in here and that is useful because this five are ruled out from these two cells. So I've now got fives locked in columns, fours and fives in two separate cages. That gives me another pair of fives. So we're getting some movements with the fives and that's good. Um. And also it means we can rule out fives from these two cells. Uh, what were we looking for? Three, four, five, and six. So not useful for those. I've got four and six, but I can't rule out. So this is a three and five. Um, yeah, that's not actually that helpful with the five, I don't think, because it just added um, a five to this. But I couldn't see the three, four, or six anyway. So, oh well. Let's see if we can do more. Let's see if we can do more. So fives are locked in these cells along with the nines. Aha! So five, six, and nine are locked in these same three cells. So that's for, that's forming a triple for us. So let's pencil mark them in because now, with the triple in this um, cage, 
I'm now left with a pair of fours and twos. I was going to say seven, but there's a seven right here. So the two four pair, I now have a triple on here. Also, can I lock down? Yep, I can lock down a pair of fours now because of the pointer pair of fours ruling out the rest of these styles. And a four over here creates a pointer pair of fours. That unlocks a four upstairs and unlocks another four over here. And that in turn unlocks the two four pair. So that's a good combo going on. Oops, uh, I meant to unlock, uh, I meant to pencil mark in the twos over there. So twos are here. So, oh yeah, I was saying at the start, um, did you guys play any more amounts us um, tonight whilst I was asleep at 3 a.m.? Um, now we can look at this triple meanwhile. So one, three, one, three and eight. I've got one and eight in this column, so there has to be a three. So with that, I'm left with ones and eights, and I can't disseminate them just yet. So let's move on. I don't know if disseminate is the right word in this context, but anyway, so um, so now I've got a quadruple here, which is kind of weak, so it's worth looking at. Um, and they contain one, four, five, one, four, five, and eight. So I don't think that's useful actually, because I've only got a f got an eight up there and a five down here. But I guess in a quad in a quadruple situation. If we haven't got too many pencil markings like this, they're not too many overlapping, so it's not too bad. Yep, there's some hide and seek in normal mode. I'm so jealous of you guys, but um, one day, one day, we'll be able to play together. We did, I proved myself to be <laughs> the worst imposter. Oh, that's a shame. That means you're too nice. You're too, you're too nice to lie, basically, I think. Although I don't know the context. Did you guys stream it at all? So it sounds like Elaine and I are both rubbish as a lie. I was just telling Juice last night at my Hades stream that I would be bad at that game. But I quickly went off on a tangent talking about how bad I was at um, Secret Secret Hitler. One second, just going to blow my nose again. And I'm back. So on this column I've got a um, a pair, a matching pair. So there are only two numbers left possible in this column so pardon me they are fives and six and I've got six over there so I can deduce them oh my tummy is making noises so that's not very nice um, okay so with the five and six deduce I'm now left with a triple you didn't stream that's a shame I would love to have seen you guys play but um but that's understandable um, so what is this triple? This is one, seven, and f three. So let's pencil mark in the threes. Um, so this is also a quadruple, and there's also a triple on the top row. So it may be worth looking at. Although one of these times we should stream, I just got to warn everyone first. Yeah, always, yeah, you got to make sure you have consent from everyone before you start streaming, because they may not want to be on the internet, interwebs. Um, so I noticed there's a pair of sixes here, thanks to these two sixes. Well, this single six does it really, but also it means the sixes are locked in rows two and three in these two cages, so sixes must be over there. Um, oh god, I have to listen to myself recorded. You don't have to watch. <laughs> yeah, hearing your own voice is always a bit daunting, and um, I have extra reason to be to have the dislikes. Uh, oh, I've got one on this row. Um, basically, one can't go there, nor can the one go here. So actually, I can deduce the one, the six, and the eight is the only number left. So that gives me a five, eight pair. No, it's not a five, eight pair. That gives me a pair, pair of point eights down there. So I am now left with another triple, which is three, oh, threes, fives, and sixes. So that's not super helpful. It doesn't actually lock any digits in. So we've got more to do in this puzzle, but I think we're going, we're doing quite well at the moment. Doesn't feel too hard yet, but hopefully I haven't spoken too soon. Um, oh, we should figure out how to co-stream. Uh, if you stream, I will as well. But then we'll, we could see how the delay screws me every time. That would be funny. Same, I'm agender with deep voice. 
then. Oh, bless you. Hey, trans. Did you know this week is um, Trans Visibility Week or Trans Awareness Week? So, um, so yeah, go us, go us gender non-conforming individuals. So, um, let's see. I have another matching pair on the column. So, I think like. Is it today or was it yesterday that it's like Trans Visibility Day as well? Oh no, it's Trans um, Memorial Day, I think. So I'm going to go, I think someone is planning on putting a video online to kind of like remember um, trans people who were kind of like, who passed away for various reasons. But we, we all know quite well. Um, apologies, anyone watching the video that... Um, the tone has darkened a bit, but um, but it's important to acknowledge that um, yeah, what's going on, particularly to um, black trans women, um, yeah, they are terribly affected by prejudice, um, both in America and I think in like some other some other countries as well. So um, yeah, let's take a moment of silence for them later as well. So. Um, meanwhile, I am going to look at this matching pair of freeze and oh, sorry, I just got a bit wound up. <laughs> sorry, um, freeze and nines in these two in these two cells, and um, I can't deduce either of them. And uh, let's have a look at oh, this can't be a one anymore. So I don't know why the one is still in there. So this is a triple actually. And it is um, five, eight, and nine triple because I've got two seven matching pair. Oops, two seven matching pair already. So now that tells me that the eights are over there. Um, three and nine, nines are over in this column. Sorry, in this row as well. But um, I can't place it just yet. So let's see. Um, yeah, so I can't do much more. So. Have we got any other weak areas that have developed? Uh, the one in eight still can't be deduced. I've gone. Oh yeah, I've looked at this pair, haven't I? This is threes and nines. Okay, so I think I've run out of things that I can do with um, the weak areas. So let's have a look at the numbers on their own, because oftentimes I find when I'm stuck, I could just look at the numbers and suddenly see something that I couldn't see before. So. Let's have a look. Um, ones are still. Oh, hold on. Ones are now locked in as a pair. So I've got ones in an X wing formation. Twos. Two, two, two. Two, two. Threes. Um, threes are locked in those cells. Threes. Threes. Fours. 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 So I've got fours locked in these three cells. Fives, five, 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 six. Sixes are here, and I think that's all I can do. The sixes. Let's look at sevens. By the way, am I am I talking loud enough? Um, I never know if I'm kind of like talking the right volume because I. I've been moving my mic around constantly um, in different positions, and then I have been moving the mic around since the um, since I started using the voice changer, which crackled a lot. So, oh, thank you. So I'm glad it's okay. So, because I think this is a comfortable volume for me to speak at. So, even though it's not a com comfortable voice for me. So. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do any more with the eights, and I'm skeptical that I'll get any more nines either. So I've got nines locked in there. No. Okay, so we can't we can't actually do any more pencil markings. So we have to do something clever to unlock this puzzle, which is always fun. So let's see what we can do. Um, do, 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 do. By the way, curly fries. Just to say, chat will be um, put online. So. If you, um, I don't know if you have any concerns about um, me kind of um, post this, posting the chat on YouTube later. If so, 
I think there's a feature in YouTube to blur out certain sections of the video, so I can blur out chat if you would like. Um, so hopefully, cool, that's good. Oh, I like that emoji with cats. I am, I'm very much a cat person, so. Oh, it's from another channel as well. That's so cool that you can, yeah, this is the thing I'm still learning about Twitch, that I think you can unlock emojis from specific channels that we, you can then use in other channels. That is a very cool feature. It's an incentive, I think, for, have a nice day. My wife just heading off to work, so I'm just saying bye-bye. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the, the emojis um, that you can have, you can use different channels emojis on different channels. That is just such a cool idea. I think there's something similar to that in on Discord, but I'm not sure if it works the way I think it works. Now, I suspect there's something going on to 4 and 6. Yes. So, so once I've run out of weak areas, one of the first techniques that I've have been using in the past month or two since I learned it from someone, another another YouTube Sudoku player on YouTube. I saw him doing this once and I've just been copying it ever since and it turns out to be really powerful. So let's see. Um, what you do is you pick a pair of candidates and you basically look on the rows and columns and see if they can be placed in anywhere else on the row or the column. Now specifically, if we look at if we look at the four and six, um, I just randomly picked it as I was looking around, and I saw that it has something special going on with it. So I'm not sure if Discord allows emojis from other servers on your server. Oh, okay, so you can only use the special emojis on those servers. That's fair enough. Um, I guess it, it 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 does behave differently because the servers may not necessarily talk to each other, whereas um, Discord has the ability to, you know, Discord is just a um, single website, so they can keep, um, I guess there's basically one, there are multiple servers obviously, but they could have all the emojis in a single server maybe, I don't know, I don't know how it works. But yeah, this is such a powerful move to find um, hidden uh, matching pairs. So looking at this 4 and 6, well 4 and 6 can't go in this cage at all, so there are no 4s and 6s, and if we look at these two rows, they've got 4 and 6 as well, so they can't go in these two cells. That leaves me another four and six down here and I can't I can play I can't see the any fours or sixes. So this is actually a matching four six pair. So I don't know if that's helpful at all because um but then that, that leaves me a quadruple and there are two seven eight and nine. So I've got two I've got nine oh I guess maybe it's not that useful actually. Um, yeah, I don't think I can use that, unfortunately. But at least I know these two cells are locked, and that may have an effect, because the other way of looking at this is um, now no other numbers can go in these two cells. So what does that mean? That means there's nothing on, nothing, yet, nothing happening with the, that means the seven, yeah, the two, seven, and eight are now locked as a triple in these three cells. That's brilliant because that. So let's see. What can we where can we place the eight, the two, seven and eight in this cage? We can't place them in these two cells and we can't place it in that cell. And we just we're just left with three cells. They, so they form a triple. So that means there's a triple in these three cells and no other numbers than two, seven and eight can go in these three cells. Therefore this can't be a one anymore. We can put a one in there, and that unlocks the ones quite comfortably, and we are now left with an X wing over there. So, so before I do any more pencil markings, I feel like I may be able to. Yeah, so that means this has to be a four and six as well, because now I've got two, seven, and eight locked in these three cells. So these must be four, fours, and sixes. But I can resolve them because I've got a six looking into this cell. So 4 and 6 are now resolved, and that forces a 6 over there and a 4 over here. So I don't know if that's the logic that we need to solve today's puzzle, but certainly it's one bit of logic that we could have used to um, solve this, to break this puzzle. And I bet now, with so much information happening in these cages, um, we can solve this with kind of 
pretty basic logic now. For a start, we can place an eight in here because that's the only number left on that um, on that row. So that eight now doesn't do anything additional. But I've got twos and seven locked in there, which hold on, something's not right. So that six actually removes the six over there. So four, five, and eight. Yep, that makes more sense. And that has to be a five now because it can't be. It's five, six, and nine, and I've got six and nines. Um, since I pencil marked in the triple, and now I stripped it naked, it had to be. It had to be a five, and these can't be fives anymore. Five has to go here. Four has to go here. Eight has to go there. So, I think I'm pretty confident that we can just walk through this puzzle now. So let's pencil mark into twos and sevens, and that gives us another matching pair. So that means these are threes, fives, and eights. And actually, we can't. We can see a five on this cell and an eight on this cell, but we can't deduce the other number. So we've got a three five and three eight. So it's a unique triple, which is never, never friendly. Um, okay, so let's um, continue on with the puzzle. We've got five. Oh, so what if I see a pair and look down and see the same two numbers, providing that they, oh, hang on, that means that's a two and seven. So I thought it was a triple, but it's actually a quadruple. But actually, it's still useful because that has to be, that can't be a five and nine. It has to be two and seven. So providing two, five, seven, and nines are the numbers that I'm looking for, they are indeed. So this is two and seven. That is five and nine. I still can't resolve them though. So um, I don't think I need to use that. So I'm going to move on and because I try to keep the grid as clean as possible. Well, I can resolve this three for a start and that three also deduces the six and the five um, so that's probably a lot more useful so now I've got six and eight locked in there because of two, the two sixes so now I've got to make a single here because I've got I've got two seven six and eight this has to be a nine I believe because on this column I remember it was a three nine pair so now that three resolved the seven and three and that three also resolves the three up there. And I think that's all the threes that we can. Yep, I've got another three up there because of that three. And this is a six eight pair. So that's a three, that's a one. And that resolves the one and two down here. So all the ones I've done as well. So twos are still not finished yet, but they're down there. So yeah. Um, if I don't need to, I try not to use the pencil markings, um, like put ad additional pencil markings, because um, imagine if you're doing this on pen and paper, you don't want to scribble, do too much scri scribbling on it. So, well, this can be resolved, this matching pair, because I've got a nine there, so that forces the nine to be over here. And I hadn't even figured out what the other number is. In fact, it's a five, so that five resolves the eight up there, five over there, and a nine over here. So, and I think this 9 locks a 9 down here because the 2, this 9 and that 9 locks a 9 down here. And there's only a single 9 left and it's down here, 9 and 6 resolved. So with the 9's done, that 6 unlocks the 6 and the 8 and the 8 over here. So the 8 is locked in here because of that 8 and that 8. So we've resolved the 2's and the 7's. And a 7 is here, and finally we have a 5. So that's today's New York Times hard Sudoku with some really cool logic. Again, I don't know if that's the, the logic necessary to solve the puzzle, but um, it was the one that I found. So I'll definitely put that on um, Sudoku Exchange. So let's move on to LA Times expert Sudokus. And just got to wait for it to load because my internet isn't great. Um, I'm basically using up all my upload bandwidth by doing this stream. And when, you're, when your upload bandwidth is um, choking, then it's bottlenecked. Then um, it makes download a bit slow, basically. So let's um, change the setting first to get rid of highlight entries. And let's see, twos, threes. I've already scanned the ones and I couldn't see anything. So with um, LA Times Sudokus, I don't tend to do as much explanations because I'm not as fond of um, LA, oops, 
LA Times Sudokus. Um, Juice and Elaine will know this, but my pencil, my, not pencil, my, my mouse control is not great. Um, this is why I can't be a good first person shooter player because um, I'll just click on the wrong thing. I'll be shooting the wrong thing. So the enemy could be over here and I'll be shooting over there. So that's not very useful. Okay, maybe not the, not the dramatic, but imagine the enemy is here. I just shot them over here. Um, so I would never be a competitive Overwatch or Fortnite or whatever games, shooter games um, people play these days. Um, oh, that can't be a four. So hang on, I think I misread the fours actually. Yeah, I completely missed that. This number, this cell was taken by the four, so I could place the four in the first place. So I think that's all the fours. Um, I did used to play Counter Strike at the beginning when um, I think it was like even before it hit um, 1.0, I was playing Counter Strike. But back then, like headshots were still quite a new thing to people, so most players didn't really shoot people in the head. Most players weren't good enough to aim for the head. I miss those days because anyone can pick up a gun in Counter Strike and have a chance of um, being on the winning team, but today it's just impossible. I need to work on my accuracy again. I can feel myself getting worse. Oh no! You need to work on your lateral shooting, do you? Um, so I watched um, Jews play Borderlands and I just couldn't believe how good he is. <laughs> like, he's adamant that he's not, um, not that good at shooting games, but um, to me he's just amazing because, um, yeah. How is that possible? Just, oh snap, that is a burn. That is a burn, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> so I'm guessing Curly Fries is very good at um, shooting games as well, so there's always another level. Do I've always known I've been bad. Yeah, there's always another, there's always a bigger fish, as um, a wise Jedi once said, from one of people's least favorite um, series of Star Wars movies. Um, so the sevens, I just looked at them. They are locked on column on row seven and nine. Therefore, therefore there has to be a seven on row eight. In um, the seven has to be locked in row eight in this cage, and um, I've got a seven that allows me to pencil mark them in. So, I don't know why I did the explanation there. I said I don't do much in the way of explanations. So the eights, I've got four different set eights, including pointer pair of eights, looking into this cage. So that resolved the eight, which pushed out the one which forms a 1-7 matching pair. So I tried to click on that cell and I, no, tried to click on that cell and I clicked on that instead. So again, like, I would never stand a chance against you guys if we ever play against each other in shooting games. Not very good, but definitely better than choose. Oh my God, even wire is slowing me down now. How do you mean wire is, I think the sequels have taken that position. Oh, I guess it's, um, it's a character in Borderlands. Curly fries is good aim, especially for using a control. Oh my god! I remember back when, um, back in my college days, which is probably high school for you guys, um, why is in amount us? So, oh, because you have to, yeah, you have to do clicking, you have to drag and drop, don't you, in, with wires. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so. When Golden Eyes first came out, um, oh, I've got a point to pair of sixes there, so that deduces the six and eights anyway. So, um, can I do more of the eights then? Yes, I can lock an eight there, a pair of eights over there, a pair of eights over here. What about sixes? Can we do more of the sixes? No, we can't, but we tried. Um, yeah, when Golden Eye first came out on the Nintendo 64, on N64, as the kids call them, um, well, I was a kid back then as well, but anyway, my friends like were playing um, against each other, like four player, three four back when before like team games were a thing. Um, being Asian, people expected me, my friends expected me to be really good at video games, and um, and they I couldn't get a single shot in because I had never played first person shooters in um, with a set of controllers basically, so. I still struggle. I still cannot fathom how people have such amazing aims using controllers. Um, 
so yeah, kudos to you for being someone who can aim with um, with a controller. I think I know it is something that if you just start on controllers, then you get better at them. But like, there's no question that controllers are harder harder than mouse and keyboard. I remember like there was um, you know the cross play thing. I remember hearing that um, like they tried kind of um, what are these? These are two, three, two, three, and eight. Well, eight can't no two, three, two, three, and four. Sorry. So I've got a four there. No. Um, when we play Borderlands together, I carry hard. <laughs> I will have to watch that. I yeah, I really want to see that, like Elaine. I want to see like what the next level looks like because like I literally can't imagine because Juice has been doing all the parkours and um, shooting, you know, headshotting people and monsters and things like that. So. I just can't like picture in my head what better play looks like only because I haven't seen them. I have seen like speed runs before on YouTube but um yeah, just something else entirely. So threes and threes and fives. Um but yeah, my friends were kind of like they definitely smack talk me. They all they were saying um oh Alex, I thought I thought you were good at um, video games, but of course I wasn't caught Alex back then but um but yeah, <laughs> it was something else. It was quite embarrassing, and I never picked up um, Golden Eye um, out of shame. Basically, it's embarrassing how bad I am in comparison. Kelly Fries, we should stream sometime if you, if your internet ever likes me again. Juice definitely has more knowledge about the game, and it's way better than non-standard way of play. But I just play, but just playing, I edge him out. Amazing. It it's not. It's not you. My internet hates. It's me. Oh, the internet doesn't hate anyone. Well, actually, that's uh, <laughs> out of context. That is a very naive statement. But um, yeah, I'm sure the internet doesn't hate you, Cody Fries. So let's see. Um, I can pencil mark and set a freeze there. But have I got anything else? Wow, I've got five numbers on this roll, and four of them are in this cage. So I can't lock any more numbers. But I think I should do another scan of um, pencil markings and see how I get on. I can't see anything of ones, so what about twos? Um, twos, twos, threes. But yeah, I don't know if Juice mentioned, but I'm really new to the streaming world and, um, and I'm just kind of like gobsmacked by how people can read chat um, whilst playing well in video games. And of course, like I realized, I knew this from before. I've got a pair of fours there because I've got a point of pair of fours there and the four is ruled up from this cell. Um, but like, I knew speed play, street, speed run players um, historically stream their stuff because like, I guess it makes sense because you're not, how are you going to make money if you spend thousands of hours to play a game only to get like one world, world record and you don't really get money from get a world record speed runs so it's just for the recognition so obviously um they stream to um to earn their wages basically and um, and of course if you stream and not talk to chat i think um you won't be a very good streamer at all i'm now in that um peculiar situation where i feel like i need to be better at being able to chat read chat but also continue performing in um, sudoku so need to be able to multitask basically. No idea I don't stream at all. Now my ex hold on, I'm missing some chats there, so let's see. Yeah, I know the right to loot the right loot to use. Cully just actually hits the target. So what you're saying, what you're saying, Juice, is you should do all the lootings or you should like I guess you should decide who to fight and then there you guys both get the loot. And then Cully Fries can absolutely annihilate the enemies. So that's the that's the game plan for you guys then. Um, it's much harder to read chat while doing puzzles than while playing a game. Yeah, that's true. Cause like, I did feel like last night with Hades, I wasn't doing too badly reading chat. But of course, I messed up the microphone. So, um, like for the first probably twenty minutes of the stream, Juice couldn't actually hear me. <laughs> and um, and yeah, so so even though. In theory, I really wanted to test last night if I could if I could talk and read um, if I could play Hades and read chat at the same time, 
and uh, I never really demonstrated that. So on this roll we've got 3, 4 and um, 3, 4 and 2. Can't do that, but I've got a pair of 2s and... Oh, it's 2s and 3s. Brilliant. So that can be deduced because of 3 down there. So that means I've got 2s there, which means this is a naked single. And it is a 3, if I'm not mistaken. And that 3 unlocks another 3. So... Um, at least in my experience, that's kind of what we do, Lamau. Um, I don't know what that's in referencing, like what we do, like reading chat and playing games at the same time, or messing up the microphone, I don't know. So hang on, this can't be a two anyway, so this has to be a five, because I've got a point a pair of twos, so this is not a five. I've got fives locked in there. This is two and four, I can't deduce them. What have I got here? I've got... Um, four seven and why don't i pencil mark them in a site oh god i've already messed it up this should be a seven so these are four seven and ones so let's pencil mark them all in so that means this is a one and two um is it safe to pencil mark in these yes it is because ones and twos are lined up up here so um this quadruple doesn't kind of um create too many pencil markings for me so the way the rule of thumb for me um, you can do different ones obviously do what works for you but I feel like three pencil markings are reasonable on any any cell any more than that and you start to struggle to read it juice pointing our target and me killing it ah I see <laughs> that is good teamwork that is um, unfortunately I have neither of the skills so um, how many, is it just um, two player maximum in Borderlands? Because I know, ooh, I've got triple here of one, four, and seven. So any snooker fans in my on my YouTube, that's always a lovely reference. So I don't think that's that useful because that means these are five, six, and... Although I think it is useful because with that triple... With the one four seven triple, I can't have one four or seven there. So with the fours not being in there, that's effectively a pointer pair of fours. In fact, um, oh no, yeah. So basically, the fours can't go there because of the one one four seven triple. Therefore, the four can't go here anymore. So I don't know if there's some. This is the kind of logic that I need to apply in the future. But either way, I know I've created a pair of fours over there. So. Oh, four players. Oh, of course, because um, that's why on the on the intro at the beginning of the game, you can see four characters. I played um, I played the beginning of Borderlands Borderlands Two, but I was so bad at it that I ended up giving up basically because um, it just <laughs> it just clearly wasn't going to work for me. And um, but I know it's kind of like a looter shooter kind of game. Um, so what are these? These are five, six, and five, six. And Five, six, and nine, and that's useful because then oh no, it's not nine. There's a nine right here, so it's five, six, and something else. Five, six, and two actually. So these are two, five, and six. But I know two so can only go in those two cells, so that's kind of useful. Um, can I lock any more cells? So let's look at the ones. The ones can't go in these two cells either. So the ones are locked over here. In fact, I, I could tell by the fact that one can't go in this cell. So this row is the only place that the one can go. Um, so I've got one, seven, five, and six, and five and six can go in all, all of these cells. So that's not super helpful. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's only five and six that I haven't pencil marked in. The bad news is I'm not going to pencil mark them in because this cell can still tick five or six, and that will be four pencil markings. So that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, so, yep, still want to do a playthrough of one person as each other. But I still don't have enough Borderland friends. So I think um, it wouldn't work for me anyway. I would love to join you guys, but uh, I do have Borderlands too. So grab some people off the street and we can carry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, I think because we're so far away from each other, I think um, my ping would be really, really high. So it's probably not practical for me to join you guys. Um, so I think it's night. It's time to do some more basic notations, which I haven't done in a while. So let's see ones, twos. Apologies for anyone on YouTube watching who 
may have seen the solution a long time ago and um, I've not been able to deduce it just yet. Fours, fives, fives are over here, fives. I don't think I can do much with the fives, so fives are a bit naughty at the moment. Um, this is not quite a quadruple, is it? But actually, what, what numbers am I looking for? Two, four, two, four, five and two four five and six no i'm not going to be able to use that um it'll be difficult to shoot with a bad ping but i'm willing to try no it's okay i'm sure we can find better players anyway so maybe elaine should join in <laughs> hope she doesn't mind me volunteering her i don't know if she's still in chat is she still in chat hello elaine 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 are you still here Um, so these are two, five, and six. One, seven, five, six. So that's one, five, and six. Yeah, don't think I can pull anything out of the bag there. So five, six. What about sevens? Can I do anything with sevens? No. Definitely nothing on sixes, right? No. So what about eights? Eights. Nope, can't see any, any eights. Um, okay, so we need to pull something out of the bag here. Let's have a look. Um, I think looking at the rows are not going to be super productive because there's not a lot of information on these columns, so we're better off looking at the columns, hoping that we are, we're going to deduce something. So, even though this is a pentagonal, I hope that's just a delay. Hi, Elaine. You should play Borderlands. You should play Borderlands with um, juice and curly fries. I feel like the dot 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 is basically, yes. I'm not getting involved with the conversation because I don't want to play Borderlands. Um, why did you put me up to it? <laughs> four of us, four characters with a combined ping of 5,000. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work too well. Uh, so what am I looking for on this column? Where can the twos go? Twos can go pretty much everywhere except for this cell. Three, four... Fours, fours can't go there. So, oh, okay, four can only go in this cell. Because I've got an X-wing, I missed that. I missed the X-wing fours. So fours are locked in columns seven and eight. So therefore, um, on column nine, it had to be in this cage. So that resolves two and four. That resolves another two, which unlocks another two, which locks a pair of twos there. Um, so now I'm left with a pair of fives and fives and sixes. Of course they're five and sixes. Um, so five and sixes are definitely on the weak side of the spectrum. So this is five and six as well. That means there are no more five and sixes on this column. I don't know if that's useful or not. Um, okay, I die extremely often. Yay! So Elaine is in. All the better if I'm running light speed in Borderlands 2. If we're doing two, I call Craig... Um, I don't know what um, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it makes sense to any Borderlands players. So one, two, three, four, five. So five, seven. Oh, hang on. What am I missing? Oh, five, six, and seven. I've got five and seven on this row, so this must be a six. So just five and hold on, six. So just fives and sevens that I need, and I can't deduce them yet. But can a six give me more? Yes, the six is now unlocked in this oh, in this cell. So this is one and two, because it can't be a five. So this is one and two as well. And I don't think that's that useful, so I'm going to ignore it. But I can see that the ones are locked in these cells. Ah, so it's a one, two, eight triple here, meaning the seven can be pushed out. So now we've got a pair of fours and, well, I say now, we have always had the four, five pair. And that's useful because I've got five, six pairs locked in these two cells because of the triple here, leaving me with a five, six pair. So the five, six, and this is the thing that happens a lot in LA Times Sudokus. You find um, the matching pairs and matching triples overlapping on rows and columns. And that helps us remove the five from this cell so we can deduce the fours and the fives. Therefore, four and eight can go there, 
eight is forced into that cell, one and two are resolved, one is here, two is there, five is there. Actually, I could have deduced the five a lot sooner, I just realized, because I was left with a one, two pair. So somehow I missed it. Five and six goes there. Six is locked in these two cells, not useful, but I've got five over here, seven over there, one over there, six over here. So that resolves the five and six. So I'm on the final stretch now. Something is not right. I just need to find out where a number. So the two, two unlocks the two and four. That unlocks the one, four and seven. And that's the end of today's LA Times Expert Sudoku. So, um, I call dibs on a siren. I remember to, hold on, let's see. I alternate between Craig and Zero. I still remember you telling me about carrying your other friend through the final boss using the wrong build. <laughs> Amazing. I call dibs on siren. Yes, Elaine equals Maya. Uh, Lol, the warrior never stood a chance against my throwing. Oh, pardon me, just burped there. How disgusting. Um, the warrior never stood a chance against my throwing axes. You shouldn't be able to throw axes at what is essentially a large fire dinosaur and kill it. Um, okay, I guess I have no dips and I will do whatever the remaining character is. Um, hopefully it's a good character. Um, I was saying to Juice that I played a, what was it, like a sniper type person. But I think he's got other abilities, but I just never managed to play it. Um, there's three remaining characters. Zeros. I thought... Oh, you alternate between two, so you haven't called dips on. Oh, so only Siren. So, I don't know, I don't know who each one is, because there are four original, but they added two more. Oh, I haven't got a DLC, I don't think, so I don't think I can play that. Anyway, I'm just going to stop the stream for a second and then restart it so that I can export the video onto YouTube. So, anyone on YouTube, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want more daily Sudoku videos. I solve the heart and expert every day. But sometimes, um, on days like today, um, I will be also be streaming the kind of easies, mediums, and do some um, mini crosswords as well. So please do f join me on um, Twitch if you are in the same, t like similar time zone or in a time zone where it's not ungodly hour in the, in the mornings. So I'd love to see you there. So thank you for watching. Bye now.